Hey Casher, Derek here at Baker Six Clan. Today we're going to continue our build with a reed switch, canogram, and put it into a birdhouse. Let's get started. All right, so in the last video, we started the build and we built the tanogram uh, with the reed switches. Now, with your suggestions, and there was a lot of them, saying that there was a lot of different ways that this could go together, uh, might want to put either glue one in place or somehow set it up so that somebody would be able to start it off a lot easier. Now, it really depends on you. If you want it to be really difficult, you don't have to give them a hint at all. Or if you want to be a little bit nicer, which I would like to think I'm a little bit nicer on these because I really believe that a cache is to meant to be found and not to be going after causing people to have DNFs. So what I've done is I've actually taken another piece of vinyl and I put in where the first piece could go. So that helps on that. Now in the build today, we are going to add a momentary switch and then also we're going to use the power latch once again. But I'm not going to be using a drawer this time I'm going to be making a door in there and I really want this cache when I build it to when this comes down it will actually be able to have the platform so you can actually put this puzzle together but when it goes up it'll drop those pieces back and it resets it so it's not live all the time and running the battery or anything like that so it automatically resets so let's get started on this build Okay, so now I've got the birdhouse kind of put together. I've left, of course, the front's not on there and the flip top's not on. And I have this wall here clamped so that I'll be able to get access to be able to put different pieces in here as I'm putting things together. Also, um, I have the platform set up so that when I put it in here, the reed switch puzzle will sit on top of that and it'll be able to come down to be able to solve the puzzle and then go back up. Now, I've also, once I have this in here, get it kind of laid in there right, one of the things I have to worry about is making sure that when the reed switch puzzle's in here, that it clears the roof so it doesn't hit the roof when it tilts down. So that's another aspect I have to do. Plus, I have to figure out where the batteries and where the button is gonna go to be able to activate that door latch. So, a lot of, to figure out, but let's get it all figured out as I keep continuing with this build. All right, so I got the platform set up for where the tanogram is gonna sit on top of. So that'll go just like that. And then the tanogram, which I've already put the hinges on, will sit up here just like that. Now I am gonna put a back to this as well so you won't be seeing those wires. Now the other part that I also did is I went ahead and made the door for where this is gonna sit right here on the front. And this is what's gonna be opening up when that latch fires off. So that'll open up and then you'll be able to get into where the log is inside. So with this now set up here, I will be able to take the latch and put the latch on the inside. And then I'll also be able to put the battery and then the button that when that button, the LED lights up on that button, then you know that you can push that to release that latch. And that's what I'm gonna be doing next. And this part's gonna get kind of tedious. And that's why I wanted to leave this side open so that I would be able to get access to all of that uh, when I'm setting all this up. So let's get all that wired up.
All right, so now I've gotten all the wires coming out right here on this opening. And what's really great about this is because all the wires are gonna actually pretty much terminate at this button that's right here. And what's gonna happen is that when you complete the puzzle, there's an LED in this button that'll actually come on. Uh, but it's not gonna release the latch until you push that button and then the latch will release. And that's what I have here. I have the momentary switch here and it's got four terminals on it. So what you gotta do is set up so the LED will light up and then that feeds the, the momentary switch and then when you push the momentary switch, that's when that door opens. And that's what I'm gonna be doing real quick. But I'm also gonna be using these little gator hooks and what's gonna do so that I can actually do all the wiring into this and then I can just slide them right into the connections itself. And that'll just make it a really easy way of doing it. I've also added a board here so you can't reach in and get to the wires itself. So it makes this be nice and clean. So let's get that set up. All right, so that's all wired up. The mechanism is all set up, ready to go. Uh, got the door on and it is locked. As you can tell, everything's ready to go. Now, I've got my nine volt battery. So what I'm gonna do is come in, put my nine volt battery in. Nothing happens. Well, of course, nothing's happened. I haven't solved the puzzle yet. So I pull this down, I go ahead and I'll solve the puzzle. All right, so now the tangram is solved. The LED came on on the button. So now all I need to do is push the button so the latch will open. The door opens, I can come in. Well, I can't, it's hard to get into there. So what do I need to do? Put that up. Oh, hey, look, LED went out. I can get the log, close it back up, and then it's ready for the next binder. All right, so. This latch that I used on this one is actually a six volt latch versus the 12 volt that I was using on the last video. And this is just a much better one. It does come with an extra wire on it, but that's okay. Just cut it off, you don't need it. And the other part of this is the momentary button that I used on this with the LED. Both the latch and the momentary button are all down in the description below. There's a link there, so check that out. That is an affiliate link. I hope you've really enjoyed this. Now, I'm gonna come back in and paint this on the inside and on the wall here, I'm gonna kinda of put in some different types of screws because if I ever need to get into this to do maintenance, this is where I'm gonna to need to get to, here and then into the reed switches. All right, so I hope you've really enjoyed this. Hope you found this inspiring. If so, hey, smash that like button. And if this is your first time, hey, please subscribe. Love to see you down there. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what did you think of this build? Is this something that you would love to see out in the wild or is it something that you might wanna build for yourself? Let me know, but hey, don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.